Hey, Smoke Monster, and I'm having a lot of people ask me if they should sell their OG SD2 SNES, the original, in order to get the new Pro model. And uh, the short answer is, right now, no. I mean, you don't need to. If you're the kind of person who always has to be at the bleeding edge, or if you have a YouTube channel and you support these devices, yeah, you probably want to get moving on to the Pro eventually. But um, right now, if you just look at the differences between the original SD2 SNES and the Pro, they're pretty similar. In fact, the only real difference right now is that they're split off, I mean, from the user experience. They're two completely different devices. But uh, from the user's perspective, the only difference between them is that the Pro has theoretical SA1 plus MSU1 uh, audio hacks, so it can do SA1 special chips that can be patched with MSU1 audio. The main difference is going to be going forward into the future. The SD2 SNES Pro has a lot to offer, but your SD2 SNES is going to stay alive forever, essentially. So Akari has said that he's going to keep updating them with whatever they can handle. So like in this update, firmware update yesterday, you got SDD1 support because by Magno, because that fit on the Spartan 3. So anything that the Spartan 3 can handle, it's gonna get. The things that it can't, those are gonna be pro specific. So right now, the only real things that we've heard about are audio save states on the pro, which is a different way, of, very complex way of doing save states. Uh, which I wrote an article that covers some of that at RetroRGB.com, which I'll have below in the description. And uh, the combination of special chips plus MSU1 that didn't fit on the Spartan 3, because you could do it with like SuperFX and SA1 that fit on the Spartan 3. So uh, some of the chips like SA1 and the others, once you combine them with SA1, they no longer fit on the Spartan 3. So those will go to the Pro. And then the really big one for people uh, that I'm most excited about is going to be that Game Boy support. So basically it's going to have a Super Game Boy built in and you'll be able to launch Game Boy ROMs from within the Pro menu just like their Super Nintendo ROMs and you'll be able to play them on your TV. So no, you'll no longer need the uh, GameCube solu solution or whatever. You can play Game Boy. Probably not Game Boy Color because Game Boy Color is a whole different beast as Akari explained in our video. So if you aren't and that doesn't exist yet either. So right now, just putting them side by side, the only single difference from most people's perspective is the fact that the Pro model has SA1 plus MSU1. So hold on to your SD2 SNES. It's still an awesome device and it's still gonna be supported, you know, potentially forever. It's an open source project and people can keep doing cores and updating it and that kind of stuff. And uh, it's not, the, the SD2 SNES project is not discontinued by any means. In fact, the new firmware uh, the way it works is that this newest version 1.10.0, which is the first one to add the Pro support, it basically contains two firmwares. So it contains the original and the Pro, and they're kind of both brought under the same umbrella with these, with all the firmwares going forward from here. So it's really still a unified platform, and although the hardware has split off in two different directions, uh, it's still going to be the greatest flash card ever made, as I said before. And obviously, I mean, I don't get paid to say that or anything. I say that is just as someone who's used flash carts for a very, very long time. I've had them all. Uh, it's a great flash cart. So don't sell your SD2 SNES. Although if you if you are going to sell it, if you know you're going to get the Pro, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put it on eBay right now because you might be able to get just about what you paid for it still. Uh, just put it up there. People will buy it and you will just get an upgrade for you know the 10% that eBay collects is the only thing you'll pay. So Because the Pro is the exact same price as the original. So. If you do want to do it, maybe move fast. But if, if that, what I just explained, the few features that the Pro is going to have over the original don't do a lot for you, there's no need to update it right now. I mean, it's a very expensive device. It's still the flagship Super Nintendo flash cart, flagship retro console flash cart, uh, from my perspective and from the perspective of people who make flash carts even. Everybody bows to the SD2 SNES. And if you have one, you're lucky and you should treasure it and don't get rid of it don't turn on it it's like uh you know the the 2019 lamborghinis are out but if you had a 2018 they're plenty fine and you know maybe the air conditioner is a little better in the 2019 or something i don't know but it's not worth selling your lambo just to buy another lambo just yet going forward it's kind of like a new generation lambo but you know what i'm saying so if you've got one congratulations you're 
you're uh, you're a smart consumer and you have really the greatest flashcard, in my opinion, which should be worth a lot to you if you know all the projects I'm involved in. Uh, yeah, you made a good decision. So that's all I wanted to clear up. I've been asked that a lot all over the place on Twitter and YouTube, and I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. So I'm going to be getting the Pro, but I'm Smoke Monster, so I have to get the Pro. And I might even keep my old S, my old OG one, just so that I could have one in my, you know, in my original console. Have the, have one of them, and have the Pro in a different console because I have several Super Nintendos. I have the Super, NT, a couple Super NTs, including a Dev Unit, which nobody else on Earth has except for Victor Belela, who I brought, I brought his with me to Brazil, as a present from Analog, and uh, yeah. So, thanks for joining, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Patrons at any level will get an automatic invite to the Smoke Monster Elite Discord, and you can come hang out and tell me what you think about all this, uh, or you can tell me in the comments. But thanks for watching, and take care.